whether it's an mp3 file that you recorded yourself or it's a file that you downloaded from the internet and you wish to use it as the ringtone for your iPhone we are going to look at how to set that custom mp3 file as the ringtone for your iOS 16 device now after you have downloaded and installed the app called GarageBand, you launch it of course and then you tap on browse, then tap on create song. Once you tap on create song, you scroll down to where you have audio recorder. Of course there are other options like piano, drums and others but the particular feature we are looking for is the audio recorder. So when you tap on the audio recorder, it takes you into the interface that will allow you to record audio. But in this case, we are not just recording audio because we are trying to pull up a file from our file system to use as our ringtone. So you tap on the timeline icon on the, the app, the icon on the top left. Now tap on the plus icon at the end of the timeline to increase the length and increase the number of seconds that your timeline will last. Remember, your iPhone ringtone can only be 30 seconds or less to enable us use that particular song as our ringtone so you tap on the loop icon and then tap on file tap on browse items from the files app and navigate to the location of your mp3 file once you have navigated to the location where your mp3 file is and you have clicked on the mp3 file that you intend to use as uh, your ringtone is going to load it up into the interface and it will be added to a list a list of mp3 files by the way it is not only mp3 file formats that is supported there are other file formats that are supported that you can use as ringtone that includes AIFF and other file formats like that but of course you know that mp3 is the most commonly used file format for music so you can use your mp3 files without any problem so press and hold on the file name and then drag and drop it in the timeline so once you press and hold drag and drop the file name um, you drag that particular file that was listed on that interface and drop it on the timeline now on the timeline you can edit it anyhow you want you can shorten it you can move it to another section of that particular song just to ensure that you get the 30 seconds of the song that you want to use as your ringtone now once you have done that once you are satisfied you click on the down arrow on the top left corner of the screen and then tap on my song now that is where most of your custom ringtones are going to be stored so once you type on the down arrow and tap on my songs it takes you to another interface where you can rename and then carry out other functions on your custom ringtone now to rename the ringtone from my songs from that my songs interface you press and hold on the ringtones icon and then tap on rename of course once you press and hold on the ringtone icon it's going to give you a context menu where you can select different options so you tap on rename and then give it any name that you so desire now after you have renamed the sound that means it is ready for you to use it as your ringtone now to actually make use of that particular sound as your ringtone you need to press and hold and then tap share once you tap share it's going to ask you what format do you want to share this is it going to be as a as a garage band project or as a ringtone or something else you tap on ringtone and then tap on export then select the kind of ringtone you want you want to use it as a message tone or as a default ringtone now once you have successfully exported your ringtone you can now go to settings and you will see a list of your custom ringtones which of course will include this particular one that you just exported and then you can now select it from the ringtone interface and then use it either as your default ringtone for your iphone or a message tone or an alarm tone or whatever that you so desire now if this video was useful to you please smash the like button and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next